Hey, what's up guys? I have a quick unboxing for you. This is the steelbook for The Incredibles 2 that just came out um, uh, last week. Today's the uh, the 11th of sun on Sunday. And I actually had not planned on buying this. And if you've noticed, I haven't bought any of the Disney steelbooks. I don't think I have anyway. No, I don't think so. Because um, I wasn't collecting them because there's so many and I, I, I'd already had a bunch of regular Disney uh, releases and I was collecting them that way, just the regular releases but for whatever reason this one uh this this uh design i thought was interesting or kind of cool it's a picture of um uh, a uh, washing machine and it's like an older like 50s style washing machine with the buttons and stuff and uh, i thought it was kind of cool and i haven't seen the film yet um i already did purchase a regular edition and i thought to myself well i didn't really need it but i can probably sell the 4k disc and the code even for t around 10 bucks each so then that means this is only about ten dollars i paid for this so i guess whatever i double dipped sort of and i have a uh, steel case but anyway here's the back oh, well actually we take the plastic off because it's kind of glary hold on just a second like i said i don't usually buy the um uh disney uh steel book because like i said i, just, I didn't uh I didn't care for a lot of them, actually. Um, there were some that were cool, but for the majority, they were all kind of like bland or whatever. And I just didn't want to. <laughs> I collected enough steel books. Didn't need to collect these ones too. Um, I don't know what's happened the last couple of in the last, I think, two years, maybe just, maybe just the last year actually. Um, the steel book game has gone insane. And every single, like, I feel like every week there's a new Steelbook release and I have to decide if I'm going to buy them or not. And I have to, it's, it's, it's too much. <laughs> there's the synopsis. And that is, um, I don't remember her name. I think it's Helen. Uh, Helen Barr or Parr or whatever their names are. And it says it has a mini movie and then a short film. Auntie Edna and... Let's say bow. Hmm. <clears throat> There's the 4K information. I still don't have a TV or anything. Um, I suppose I could probably buy one over Black Friday. There's a lot. They're a lot cheaper for smaller sizes. I probably won't though. And there's the extras and stuff. Uh, Mickey Mouse super stuff. The usual shit. But uh, yeah, I used to love the first film back in 2000 and f I think it was 2004. Yeah, because I think it's 14 years. Uh, like I said, I haven't seen this yet. I'm looking forward to it. I've heard it's not as good because, of course, it's never as good. But the animation will be a little better, and it's still the same characters and whatnot. I think all the same voice actors came back. Um, I think. I don't know. And it's PG, apparently. Really? It's only PG? I thought it would be pretty... Blech. I thought it would be PG-13, but I guess not. iTunes version requires an iTunes account. Well, yeah, why wouldn't it? Yeah. Like I said, this is the 4K Blu-ray and digital code version. Limited edition collectible steel book. And there's the design. Like I said, it's a a washing machine. It's a picture of the suit on the front there in the middle window. And it's a matte finish with a little bit of um, metallic around the, the metal parts. I guess is this no it's like I say this might be gloss, but no, it's still not really. Is it? I mean it's kind of, I don't know. The side. There's the back. I can tell if there's a spine slice. I don't think so. That's cool. There's my code. And here are the discs. There's the Blu ray on the left, the 4K on the right here, and then the uh, bonus uh, features on Blu ray. And they are, actually, yeah, I think they're all uh, region-free. I think that's all Disney, though, so that's typical. There's the background. I just feel like this might actually be older artwork. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, What's-his-face, Mr. Incredible, Elastigirl, um, the stupid kid that can run. I think his name is Flash, and Violet, I think, who can be invisible. And uh, it's, the, it's the Fantastic Four, basically. And there's a raccoon, apparently. And the, what's his face? Jack, Jack, or whatever his name is. Who's an amalgam of all of them.
Sorry, I was, I was looking at the side there. I couldn't tell if this is actually supposed to be on here or not. Sorry, I wasn't talking or anything. Is this just a, like a design thing? Or is this like a issue? I don't know. Well, whatever, I don't care. Anyway, I think it's a cool design. Like I said, I don't usually buy these, and I just kind of bite the, bit the bullet this time. For whatever reason, I just thought this looked cool. This design up here. Oh, shit. Touching shit. All discombobulated. Just kind of. Yeah, whatever. The case is being kind of dorky. Being weird. Or whatever, I'll just do this. If it actually stands. You can see most of it there. There. So that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this is kind of boring and unprofessional and all that shit, but that's kind of typical for me, so. Like I said, um, I thought it was cool. I think it'd be cool if they made a um, washer dryer set, like they made the first one a dryer. Or, well, I guess that would have been a washer, so it's already screwed up. But uh, it'd be cool if they had them both, and you could have next to each other. But uh, this is just a cool idea. I thought. Well, like I, I think I heard some people didn't like it, but I understand why. Anyway, I babbled on for nothing, so sorry. <laughs> this is fun. It's a, it's a cool uh, steel book, I thought, and. Um, like I said, I haven't seen the film, though, so I can't recommend it necessarily. I'm assuming it's good. At the very least, it's on par, or at least interesting. But uh, blah, 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 who cares? Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Uh, bye.